back again. So I know Okay. I said I was gonna show you guys how I clean Karma's lane bin because at first when we were learning how to take care of Karma, we were told that we can just put everything in a flower pot and then put that in her cage and it was this pot which is pretty big if she's from like here to here she can most definitely fit in there okay maybe not but this is a pretty big pot and then like another thing that we noticed was that when we were putting the soil in there she would climb around and she would dig a tunnel but then it would collapse on her so what we did instead is we got like one of these things from Walmart it's like what you would put your feet in if you want to soak your feet. It's just a big box and it will fit in there in her cage. I'll show you guys. So I'm gonna give it a scrub down and then I'll show you what I put in it. The moss retains the moisture in the soil so that you don't have to wet the dirt so much because the dirt is what's heavy. It retains the moisture, it's long lasting. That's really what I use it for, the humidity and it's long lasting. So like the last time we did it though, we put the pot in there for like a long time and she was pregnant for like a month she's already kind of been building her eggs up she's already a thick girl also seeing her on the floor and like I was saying earlier they crawl around on the floor that means they're looking for a spot to ha to lay their eggs okay so this is what she should not be doing so I would say when you see them kind of going around the bottom of their cage like this, you should be concerned that they're looking for a place to lay their eggs. I always try to show you guys what she looks like, but she has like these two lumps, like say like I'm Karma, right? And this is her back. She has these two lumps right here that are eggs and you can totally tell they're eggs. Uh, but when she laid them last time, she laid like 50 to 60. So. When I saw the eggs, I thought she only had like five or six, but uh, the bitch has a lot. Let's see. Well, you can kind of see like the bulge right here. Mm -hmm, the little lump Ooh. in the back. Yeah. She's like, nah, don't come close. And, uh, and you can see how thick she is, like how wide she is. Is she hissy? Scream mad. She ain't mad at my hand. She's trying to bite me. You can see she has like a little curve, but you can totally see where her belly's like bulging. Suck arms, mud. So, anyways, yeah. So I put the moss in there. At first, I was using this organic soil from Walmart, and then when I went to the reptile store, they were saying like, even if it's from Walmart, it might not be safe enough to use for your pets. So I um, went and bought this soil from the reptile store, and this one's called Eco Earth. So it's specifically made for the animals and stuff, but because I already had this one and I wasn't just gonna waste it, I mixed some of this with some of this and then I put the moss in there and mix it around. I'm gonna use the rest of this soil. Oh, one thing I just remembered about the soil now that I touched it. So it's not really soil soil, like dirt soil. This is um, coconut fiber. So like if you feel it, I don't know if you guys can tell because dirt kind of looks like this, but if you feel it, you can feel that it doesn't really feel like dirt. It's a little bit more finely like shredded. I'm going to put the rest of my garden soil from Walmart. I don't really think like this causes like any issues or anything. I'm pretty sure as long as it's organic, it's fine. That's what I was told by like many of the like but then one, it takes one person to tell me that something can make my animal sick and I freak the freak out. So yeah, I mix it together and it looks like I'm probably going to need a little bit more soil, which I'll show you guys. There's this thing called, um, I don't know what it's called, but it's like a brick of soil. And like you can put it in and it makes like a lot of soil. You mix it with a little bit of water and it starts like falling apart. That stuff is awesome. So I do about two thirds two-thirds of dirt to like a third of the moss so this comes out like this like it looks like like grass I think it's still like well still like right here but I want it to be here because you need her to be able to climb down into it so I'm just gonna wet it a little bit and I'm still gonna put it in her 
cage. So she can start like getting used to having it in her cage. right now when I get more soil I'll update you guys but I'm just putting this in for now so you can see she's right there so I didn't want to mess with it too much but what I'm gonna do when I get more soil is put that in that because what she liked to do last time I noticed she laid her eggs by the branch and they say that they will do that so once I get more soil I will be back okay so this is the stuff that I was talking about. I don't know if I recorded, but like I had pulled out Karma's bucket and it was full of freaking crickets and there were crickets underneath in the corner. So I just dumped out all her old soil and like moss that I just talked about. Uh, so her new one is just gonna be the moss and uh, the soil. And this is the same thing that I used. It's the coconut fiber stuff. It's just compressed into a small brick. And I think you save more money if you get this because I think it was like 11 bucks and I'm pretty sure I only need one for each like batch that I make. Uh, anyways, so anytime I put any water in her cage, I always make sure to clean it with this Repti Safe. It keeps the water dechlorinated and safe for them to be around. I don't know if it's necessary to do it when I'm going to mix her soil, but I do it anyways. Oh, two drops every eight ounces that I always read instructions before I do things. So with one of these bricks, with four liters of water. So if I'm doing four liters of water, each time I do one of these, I have to do, there's 32 ounces, so for eight drops, Right? If there's two drops for every eight ounces, yep, eight drops for every liter. So I'll be back. And sometimes they come out more than a drop, so then I'll just stop if I think it's too much. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh. I'm just gonna count that as eight. It might have been eight. And I'm gonna barely, okay. I'm gonna do that three more times and I'll be right back. So now it says allow brick to expand for 20 to 30 minutes. So I'm gonna eat my ramen, wait for Juan to get home, and then when he gets home, I'll probably start dinner. Once he gets in the shower, I'll come back and show you guys what this looks like. And then it says bring out ex excess moisture. So I'm just gonna dump out like if there's a lot of water left over, I guess. So stay tuned. Okay, so Juan said he's gonna come help for the rest of this video. And I'm gonna start dinner. All right. Moss. And we got some soil, we got some moss under. Got more moss. just moving the wood chips around so that the crickets don't go underneath that thing again. So there's Juan basically, like he said, just moved it around so that there were no wood chips underneath so now the crickets can't hide under, which is going to be better. And now she has the soil, the moss, and that, and hopefully 
once she goes down there, we'll be able to get some footage of her in there uh, so you guys can see what it looks like when she disappears for a day to lay her eggs. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. So I've been editing this video and I'm trying to get all my videos uploaded on Monday, but this one didn't get uploaded yesterday. It's been uploaded on Tuesday, but as I was uh, editing, I realized that just saying stay tuned is not a proper exit for my video. So I would like to get on here and say thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you watch the next video, whether it be about karma or whatever else I upload. Please like and subscribe, and if you feel like it, follow me on my Instagram. Uh, my hair page is princess underscore scissor hands, and my regular page is destiny with three E's underscore rose.